exit off this bridge is through them. There's too many of them. I don't want to die! into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Oh, hi. You need to pick which Jesse you want to play as. Oh, hello. Hey. I'll have them both read from the script to help you pick. OK, let's do this. <clears throat> Teamwork makes the dream work. Nailed it! Pretty great, right? Oh! Boom! <sighs> it seems the student has become the master, and the pigs will have their day. Ooh, another good option. Tough choice. Okay, ready? Go ahead, choose which Jesse you want to play as. <laughs> I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, now we... All right, yes! <sighs> okay, now we can start your game. Places, everyone! <laughs> but when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Okay, Olivia asked which thing you'd rather fight. You get to choose what Jesse says next. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. So you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did yeah. this right, these yeah. lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia, so win. Okay, fine. Do you hear that? Oh, no. What's the matter with you? Great, now. <laughs> oh, man, you guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. Uh, Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. 
the look on your faces. Attention, somebody's gotta wear a costume. He the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. <laughs> Give me a dragon roar, Ruben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition's gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. <laughs> the last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year, we've got Ruben with us. We're going to win because... What are you talking because about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. 